Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to talk about how to get the best out of your phone camera. Now, if you own a phone, well, obviously you own a phone, and you may notice that um, your phone has multiple cameras, especially at the back, one at the front, and um, nowadays, you know, cameras can take way, way better photos and videos compared before. That means you don't really need, you know, big cameras or the standard cameras or expensive cameras just to take a, a decent photo or of course a decent video your phone probably can do that right now it is just that you need to be using the right camera when i say the right camera it is all because again your phone has multiple cameras most of the time especially if you're going to take selfie it is all because you're not going to see yourself if you're going to you know use the rear camera probably most of the time you're going to be using um, the front camera but then again, um, if you wanted to make the best out of your camera, and that means you're going to be needing to use the uh, main camera. And the main camera, unfortunately, is located at the rear um, of your phone. And that's making it hard for you to frame yourself if you're going to be using, you know, um, the rear camera because you're not going to see the screen. And that means you're not going to see yourself. Now, there's this device from Ulancy that I'm going to show you right now. Now what this device actually do is that it is going to show you basically what's on the screen if you're going to use the main camera which is located the rear of your phone to like shoot a video of yourself or probably um, doing a selfie video or you know a photo. Now you might ask, why do you want to use the rear camera phone or probably the main camera phone? Well, I got three important things actually, if you wanted to use, you know, or get the best out of your phone camera. Well, first and foremost, that is going to be um, higher quality. The rear camera usually has a higher resolution and better image quality compared to the front camera. It allows us to capture detailed and sharp photos. And of course, it is versatile. The rear camera often comes with multiple lenses because it has multiple lenses, um, such as wide angle, telephoto, or macro lenses. These lenses offer a different you know, perspective and allows us to capture a variety of subjects from landscape to close-up. Advanced features like you know, mini camera feature and settings are typically available on the rear camera. This includes manual control, HDR, low light capabilities, and optical image stabilization, which help improve the overall image quality and allow for more creative control. Um, diff effects, natural, well, natural, yes, if you're going to be using your rear camera because it's just like um, standard cameras. It can focus, you know, um, subjects if you're going to um, look at my hand right here. So it, it is focusing on my hand. That means whatever's, you know, right in front of my hand or probably at the back that is out of focus. Now, if I'm going to take my hand right there, it is the focus back on my back on my face. So your phone main camera has that capability as well. Meaning uh, other camera, I think the main uh, camera is right on top right here and below is the secondary camera. Um, it doesn't have that capability and of course your front facing camera doesn't have that capability as well. It isn't like, you know, uh, blur the background, naturally blur the background. And also the rear camera often supports depth sensing capabilities like portrait mode, you know, an iPhone or a bokeh effect. Um, these features can blur the background creating professional looking depth of field effect and making the subjects stand out. It has also better performance. The rear camera is usually equipped with more advanced sensors and processors resulting in faster autofocus, quicker shutter speed, and better overall performance in various lighting conditions. That's basically the advantage 
uh, those are the advantages of using the rear camera but then again the problem with rear camera is that it is not that convenient for you to use why because uh well nonetheless if you're going to like you know shoot somebody else uh or someone else is actually um shooting you like a photo or a video that's going to be totally fine it should not be a problem but then again if you're um doing it yourself like you know doing a selfie just like so and obviously you can't see yourself right now now this device right here is from Ulanzi. It is named Ulanzi SD30. What it does is that you can actually put it on a uh, desk tripod, and of course you can you know uh, put your phone in there just like so. And let's see. All right, there you go. So, say for example, if, you know, I am going to shoot myself, I can just simply go ahead and see that. And of course, I can see my um, self. I can frame myself better compared to without having this, right? If you're going to see that one right there, you know, as you can see, looking at the mirror right here, you can see that you can actually see what's on the screen. And then therefore you can you know frame yourself properly in that way and then you can you know you can actually do better than guessing and hoping that you know you're actually being recorded or probably you're actually being on frame stuff like that all right so if you guys like this video just please give it a like and a subscribe thanks for watching and see you on my next video Thanks. Peace.